Hi, my name is Kevin Good and welcome to my channel. On this particular playlist, we are learning beginning Hebrew. And we've gone through a lot and we're going to continue learning more about Hebrew. I was told that my last video went kind of fast and so uh, people weren't able to understand it as much. I'm going to go over it a little bit again today, plus we're going to add some new vocabulary. Please hit it, uh, place it in the chat if you have any questions or if you want me to go over anything, because I can, I can definitely address things along the way. Okay, so let's dive right in. Give me one second to set up. All right, here we go. Okay, so we have the particles. First, we have ha, which is what we talked about last week, and that's the he with the ah sound underneath. Then we have me, or mi, which is from, and then shell, which is of or belonging to. Today, we're going to dive back into ha a little bit, but we're going to work with some different words. So let's dive on in. Okay, first, vocabulary. Um, the first word, yilid, I think we've talked about that before, but we're, I, there's a reason why I'm giving it to you guys again. Plus, repetition is key to learning everything. Yilid, and yilid means boy. Next, we have yelda. Yelda, notice it has an ah at the end, and it has the yud, lamet, dalet. Yud, lamet, dalet. So, if that's boy, what do you think this is? Yelda, yelda is girl. Next, we have ish. And ish, we went over before, ish means man. Next, we have isha. What do you think that means? Hmm? Isha means woman or wife. Next, a new word we have is har. And har means mountain. Next, we have shir. And shir means song or poem. And if any of you reads the Bible, you'll see, you know, a song. You have psalms. And then inside, and then there's also poem, their poems, um, and you'll, you'll see that in different parts of the Bible. But we have yilid, which means boy, yilda, girl, ish, man, isha, woman, har, mountain, and shir, song or poem. So these are indefinite. It could be any boy, any girl, any man, any woman or wife, any mountain or any song or poem. So let's go back and let's recap and look at what we were learning last week. Next, we have, this is Yelid again, but we have the Ha in front of it. So Ha Yelid, and that means over here, how to use Ha or the. Ha Yelid is the boy. Whereas before, when we had Yelid, it was just boy. But here we have ha yilid, so it means the boy. Ha yilda, ha yada means the girl. Ha ish means, what does it mean? The man, okay, if the computer will work. Next we have ha isha, the woman, a specific woman. Or ha ha, the mountain. Instead of just ha, which means mountain, we have ha ha, which is the mountain. And then hashir, which is the song or the poem. Okay, so the ha, don't, don't let the indefinite or definite, all of those terms confuse you. Whenever you see the he, um, he letter of the alphabet with the ah, and it's before a word, it's gonna basically make that a definite, it, for the most part. Okay, nothing ever is 100%, not even in English or any other language, but for the most part, ha yilid, the boy. Ha yilda, the girl. Ha ish, the woman. Ha isha, um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Ha ish, the man. Ha isha, the woman. Ha har, the mountain. And ha shir, the song or poem. Okay, um, once again, I'm going to stop there. I don't want to overwhelm you guys this time. And next time we're going to work on um, me or me. And then also we're going to add shell. Um, anime California. I'm from California. So, um, and what else? We're, we're going to use it with words that you guys already know. So that way it's kind of like repetition. I'm going to continue using words. I'm going to also continue adding words. Um, I apologize for missing... Um, a couple of days essentially I had 
some family issues that I had to take care of. But I am back, and um, once again, if you guys like the content on the channel, please hit the like button, please hit subscribe, and also hit the notification bell so you'll know when I release new content. And I look forward to getting back to you shortly with more on the particles, okay? All right, you guys have a great day.